because I walked up to him one day and I said, look, man, I, I want to become a uh, financial services manager. I mean, those are the guys that ran around with the real Armani suits and the, the oh, real yeah. Rolexes, Absolutely. got the best demos. Yeah. So I wanted to be one of them. And Iris said, you're too valuable on the showroom floor, Jerry. He kept saying that to me, he kept saying that to me. Finally, I said to him, look, if I can't do it here. I'm going to have to do it somewhere else. And he said, you're going to threat you threatening me. I said, no, it's not <laughs> a threat. I just want to move into management, man. So he says, you break the record. The record was 40 cars. That's the most anybody had sold in that dealership. So it was April, um, somewhere probably about 80, probably 86, 87. And um, I sold 42 cars. And I walked into his office and I said, now you're going to tell me I'm too valuable on the showroom floor. <laughs> now, think about this. Back in 19, you know, back in 1986, 87, to get business cards, it took like a month. You couldn't just get them online. They come to you in two weeks. Yeah, there was no Vistaprint back then. Exactly. He hands me a box and it says, Jerry Gould, finance, F&I manager. And I'm like, gee, how'd you get these cards so fast? He goes, dude, yeah. I knew the minute I gave you that challenge, you were going to become the ne my next F&I manager. Because I That's knew you were going to break the record. Yeah. So attitude. He taught me about attitude. That's what it's all about. If you want to become something in the business, you have to have always maintain a positive attitude. That's some of the best, you know, that's one of the best advice I could give anybody that's in this business is always maintain that attitude. Never wear your emotions on your sleeve and um, just be, just like the business, you know, know everything you can about the business, stay relevant, always um, searching out, um, researching the latest trends in the business. Um, I like to talk about updating your software. One of the things that I take pride in over the years is staying relevant. I mean, I could be an old school car dog being in the business in the 70s and 80s, you know, but I chose to just be relevant, update my software, things we say um, and the way we say them make a big difference. So you kept training, you kept learning, you kept um, getting better. Yeah, every every seminar, every workshop that I could attend, I did. Uh, I invested in myself a number of times. And then um, at one point in my career, I had to leave retail because I became a single parent. That's it happens in the car business sure. sometimes with all yeah. the hours and stuff. So that's when I started my training thing. This was back in 1996. You know, I was a bit, uh, F and I manager for a period of time with Ira, and then I left Ira and I went to work for an agency. And um, I found I couldn't sell to dealers. It was weird. I couldn't sell products. But what I could do is I became really good at developing people, you know, and I, I called it multiplying myself through others. And I got noticed. I got noticed by David Lewis and Associates. And um, he recruited me and I became a trainer for him. And uh, I spent about five years with him training, um, doing F&I. And then we got into the sales portion of it and we developed sales training material. And then I started to develop material. And my mentor, Denny Sims, taught me how to really multiply myself through others, get the message across, you know, and it was all about being a car guy. And when people saw that you were a car guy, they listened to you. When you, they knew that you knew what you were talking about and your message was clear and they, they got the message, that's when my career started to really take off. So I, I did a lot of development work with David Lewis and Associates. And then um, Denny Sims went off to AutoNation. And um, he recruited me to AutoNation from, from David Lewis and Associates. So I ended up going to work for AutoNation as a regional development manager. And I went all around the country into dealerships from East Coast to West Coast. And I did that for about a year. And the job entailed going in and doing the deal, showing them how the process, the AutoNation process worked. And you had to do it verbatim, the word tracks and everything. And um, I got really good at that. And then they put me in Denver. And I spent two years in Denver as the head financial development manager. And then eventually they relocated me to Florida, where I spent five years as the regional finance director in Florida. So I picked up a lot of things from a lot of financial services managers. You know, when you think about Florida and you think about it's all high volume stores when you talk about AutoNation. You know, 200, 300, 400, 500, you got Toyota dealerships doing seven, 800 cars a month. It was crazy. And those finance managers were so intense and they followed the process to the T. And it's all about process. You know, one of the things that I was fortunate enough to have throughout my career, and it started 
when I first became a sales consultant because my dad was my general manager. So I was very disciplined. And then I moved on to Ira and he was very disciplined. He taught me a lot. And then I moved to David Lewis, very disciplined. And then AutoNation, extremely disciplined. And then I left AutoNation and I went to work. I, I, I went to work for uh, United Development Systems because I kind of got tired of the corporate thing. You know, sure. it was like a lot of pressure. You had to perform, you know, so I mm-hmm. left and I ended up going to work with uh, United Development Systems, became the director of training. And that's when it really took off, right? It started to, you know, I started to do the tips of the week for FNI Magazine. I started to do seminars, writing articles and stuff like that. And then I started to train for agencies um, that were friendly with UDS to supplement my income. I started to um, train uh, outside of UDS. And that caught on and went back more and more and more. And then eventually, uh, three years ago, I decided to open up my own business. That's awesome. So you went from, you know, a salesperson starting out. Right. All the way to becoming a trainer, to becoming, mm-hmm. you know, a director of one of the largest uh, automotive dealerships, AutoNation in the entire country for Florida and then also a, a time in Denver. Yep, I spent the time in Denver and yeah. Florida was the big thing. There were there were four of us, only four regional directors. We worked directly with Mike Marooney and, and Kevin Westfall and the team at the tower. I had an office in Fort Lauderdale on the 25th floor. You know, you really came a long way, which is kind of awesome. Yeah, it's like I kind of walked into it. But, you know, if, yeah. again, it's a lot of it's all about attitude. You know, right. if you believe you can, you will. If you believe you can't, you probably won't. So. 